Hey, what's up? It's your boy Jay. Well, coming back with another one. We about to get into this Auburn firing Gus Malzahn. Like, uh, I don't know about that. I mean, it don't really seem like it was a good decision to do because Gus Malzahn really wasn't bad when you really think about it. And we're going to break down a few numbers. Hey, hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate that. So, Auburn University firing Gus Malzahn after going 68 and 35. 39 and 27 in a SEC play like does it really get much better than that like you just I, I mean I think the expectations of Auburn fans is really unrealistic like y'all aren't going to get a Nick Saban I mean that's bottom line and that's what they're aiming for every year it's really disappointing to see that they're still doing this right now like especially during a pandemic i mean how 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 much better do you really expect gus malzahn to do i mean uh uh i mean you really got really really high expectations for your team uh, the only bad loss i can really say is that one to south carolina which was really bad that might have been the one that did it but um i mean it's a pandemic year um, he, he's, he's, he's giving y'all chances to go to the national championship just about almost every other year. So it's like, what type of other coach do you think can come in and really get that much out of the players like a Nick Saban would? Um, it's not many coaches out there. I mean, <laughs> Hugh Freeze is coming up a lot. The old coach from Ole Miss, but, um. Other than uh, Michael Cristobal or uh, Cristobal, co Oregon's coach, he's been coming up in discussions. But uh, I really don't think Auburn knows what they're getting themselves into right now. You paid this man off $21.7 million. I'm saying, like, that's, that's some big money. I think he still had, like, three years left. So he's just chilling on that. He's just chilling on that. Are you really going to bring in a coach in the next three years that is going to have a, a winning record off the top? Like, I mean, competing for Natty's off the top? Or, like, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess this was a future move. But if it's a future move, why are you making it this quick? Like, at least let him play through his contract at least one more year. I mean, a year in a pandemic, you think they would give him one more year. But uh, from what I hear, a lot of Auburn fans are excited about this move. <laughs> and, and I mean, I just don't know if they know what they're they're getting their hopes up right now. Like, what other coach do you think is going to come in and really be dominant like that? There's only a handful of them out there. And uh, I think Auburn might have made a bad move in firing Gus Malzahn. You tell me what you think about the move. Do you think it was the right move for Auburn? Who do you think they have or who do you think they should get, get rather? And you already know. Sub to your boy. Like the video. You already know we coming with it, man. It's your boy J. Will. We out.